Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Learning Complete, Learning Complete the Revit Advanced Course. In today's course, we'll learn how to jazz up our flow plan so that it can be appealing to our clients. Okay, let's start with the wall. We would like to change some few graphic settings of the wall. You see, from here, the first thing you see if you open this flow plan, you will see the elements, you will see the components imported into this flow, into this flow plan, like the dining space, the chairs, the wall is, how will I say, not appealing. It's not standing out of the drawing. So most of our clients do not pre do not even want this graphical representation. They are only they are only concerned with the wall. Okay, let's try to bring let's try to make the wall appealing to the eye of the Bisia. Sorry if that word <laughs> is, is wrong. Okay. Type on VV for graphical representation. Locate your wall. I think the wall should be way down here. Here is still is showing is telling you projection surface. Projection surface is just like the surface of elevation of the wall. While this cut plane is showing you the cutting plane of a wall. You know, flow plan is a cutting plane at a certain level of the building. So this show this is telling you the cutting plane of a wall. So we will change some settings here at the cutting plane. The width, let's make it, let's leave it at one. Let's leave it, let's make it three. I think it's much more better. Okay. Then color black. All right. Then okay. Let's, let's put some pattern to it. Pattern, let me put solid color. And I prefer to change the color to red. Mm, red is an eye attractor or yellow. Okay. Then hit on apply. Okay. You see, from mere opening of this drawing, without using everything, the first thing that will come into your mind is this wall. The wall is out. You can see the wall very clearly at a distance without you stressing your eyes. Where is the wall located? Let's change some few things to make the wall much more appealing to the eyes. Let's hit on VV again. We are to reduce the graphics of some few things. For example, the dough. I would like to make it a half tune. Half tune is like you dividing um the thickness of the wall by two. Instead of it to be brow like say thick it will be very light it's like hmm, i don't even know i don't even have words to explain it but let me show you what it means you see okay you see the way the dough is right now now i hit on half tune let me apply it and it okay apply you see it has reduced to a very faint drawing to very faint nature let's go for window 2 vv locate window window is at w sorry window good so window 2 should be on half tune and then okay so these are components we will prefer to have them separately changed but for now let's change this you see now if i press on this i have noticed something if you press the one if you are if you array an element if you are trying to edit that element it's not possible i want to change the color of this but it's not possible for you to edit an array edit an element in array you have to double click on it now it's editable click on it again you see you can change the color now good change the grid line color to let's say blue and press on ok and ok good then hit on good and finish now you see all our grid lines are changed to blue let's change our dimension lines to something else click right click and select all instances in the entire project including the radial and the diameter 
it will not edit all so do it and then edit it okay the color let's see orange okay and then okay so why i can select this and select this and change them at the same time is because this is a different type of dimension and this is another different one and this is another different one so everybody is his own entity you can't say you will change all of them at the same time you have to change it one at a time all right okay now we should change the graphic of this this card here and everything i would like to reduce their how will i say their graphic to have to you know same as the windows and those to make right click override graphics element have turn okay and you see it's a bit okay then here to right click override element have thing nice we're going to do same for all of them good good oh sorry these are the same component uh, i did it separately you can select both the two of them and there will be no problem okay yeah, i'm almost done the car override graph by element okay now you see i have already change everything so we would like to change the stairs i can also right click and go to graphic but do it through this vv and change it why because if you have multiple stairs it's preferable to just type vv and then change it to have tune here where is s p q r s stairs and then click on it all the stairs in that project will be changed to have tune ramp have tune okay now you see so now what next we should add some flow another vv again sorry i forgot about the flow we should add some flow tile in to it or oh. f <sighs> sorry so here we are talking about the surface if we are cutting the flow at section we'll talk about the cut but if we are just seeing the surface or projection then we'll change the pattern mm, what should we put what should we put there no let me put let me load something sorry okay you don't apply then okay let's add some shadows i think you will not be able to see it now but let me try adding some shadows maybe it will come maybe it will pop up by itself here change it to fine good and then from here you will change add some shadows 
you don't apply now you see it added some shadows and the shadows are very strong and too much let's reduce the amount of shadow you don't apply okay let me change the direction of the sunlight I think I usually use Soma Solar Study. You don't apply. You see the amount of shadows there are small, not much. And then, okay. So, you see the flow tiling I put there, it will not come out. I don't know why, but if I zoom it in, it will show up but no problem i don't know why it's not showing up okay i don't even know why but i'm very sure that if i'm going to plot this drawing it will show up on my plotted sheet that is for sure i know that okay now you see how to just up your flow plan now the flow plan is a bit interesting people can say wow this is the building this is where to go to this is where it is this is how it's supposed to be now people can understand now your client can understand how the building is looking like not just the graphic the graphical representation is there to show the client that this space is enough for a certain furniture or fit things to fit in the building not that 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 graphical representation to be part of how will i say an eye attractor no it's just showing the client that it is possible for you to put a furniture in it because of the space requirement is okay so don't be mistaken the most important part of a flow plan is your wall your wall should be the eye catcher if that's the right word to say you should be at the forefront as soon as the person opens the drawing that's the first thing he will start saying is the wall okay i think i'm going to stop here for today so Try this at home and see if you can figure out. If you have any question, you can comment me or or send me send me your comment on your, on your question. I will definitely answer you. Or if you have any problem, you can comment me. I will sh I will send you my contact so that we can have a personal chat for you to understand more. Do like and subscribe and subscribe this video. Thank you for watching. Let's meet sometime tomorrow. Bye for now. Goodbye.